Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Thursday nights have come upon us once again, and that means that Impact Pro Wrestling has come upon all of you once again, this time in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And here in Minneapolis, we have an epic show planned for everyone. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I tell you all the matches for the evening, or before we get right into the matches of the evening, I know, and now you all definitely know, that once again, we are going to get a visit from our Impact Pro Wrestling General Manager, a.k.a. I'm talking about Sean Sloan, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you can see, the IPWGM coming down here, ready to make a statement to all of the Impact Wrestling fans here in attendance and all of the IPW fans watching at home. We've heard a lot of different statements from Sean Sloan uh, over the past couple of months referring to multiple different things. So one's got to wonder in this moment of time exactly what Sean Sloan has in mind. What new idea does Sean Sloan have? Are we going to see another tournament? Is another title going to be introduced? Or is he just going to set up the main event for tonight? Or maybe the main event for our next pay-per-view? I think it's time that we all find out. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears that we've just learned a lot about Impact Pro Wrestling's next two pay-per-views, Adrenaline, and our last pay-per-view, Best in the World. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, big announcements aside, it is time for us to really start our show off with our first matchup of the evening. And ladies and gentlemen, our first matchup of the evening will it be Jack Smith, the man of the hour, the new Impact Pro Wrestling television champion going one-on-one -on -one with Prince Morrison. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is now time to officially Start off our night with our first matchup of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take a moment to introduce to you the man coming down to the ring right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is Prince Morrison. And we've seen Prince Morrison on Impact Pro Wrestling time in and time out. He has been an IPW regular, and you got to believe he has a, a, a very big task here tonight. Not only is Prince Morrison facing the new Impact Pro Wrestling television champion, but he is 
also facing the champion with maybe a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. Let me put it like that. He's got a lot of things on his mind. He's got a lot of things coming up for him. So you got to believe the champion may be a little bit stressed. And you got to believe that's going to have some kind of effect on how Prince Morrison goes into this matchup and how he plays this matchup. The champion's mindset is just as important as the challenger's mindset. Now, of course, we do have Prince Morrison in that ring ready for this matchup. And here he comes now, the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Jack Smith. He won that championship this past Sunday when he defeated DJ Summers in the middle of the ring. He pinned him 1-2-3. He became the new IPW television champion. And you can see him coming now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, he's the, he's the man of the hour. He is the champion of the century, as he also likes to be called. He is the Impact Pro Wrestling television champion. Now that's Prince Morrison, and that is Jack Smith. Man of the hour, and Prince Morrison about to go head-to-head -head here. Prince getting in the headlock, and Jack delivering a big elbow to the back of the head. Here comes Prince with a knee to the back, switching over into a Russian leg sweep. Great move right there by Prince Morrison. Now getting Jack up on one knee. Big overhead shot, but Jack fighting back with a big punch right to the gut. Trying to go for a chalk block there, but Prince had it scouted, able to avoid it and deliver a knee right to the face of Jack Smith. But Jack trying to fight back still. Now dragging Prince closer to the, the middle of the middle here so he can just deliver a big knee strike right to the back of Prince Morrison. Now the Irish whip, sending Prince to those ropes. Jack unable to get off when he wanted to get off there. Prince now going for something there, but Jack able to reverse. Going for a kick, Prince able to reverse. Big clothesline to Jack. Sitting Jack up, now getting him once again on one knee. Another big knee right to the face of Jack Smith. Big elbow right to the face right there. Jack float over, knee to the back of the neck. Neck breaker. Jack now, maybe finally getting some us, some real thing going here. Another headlock, kick, here comes the Fisherman Suplex. Jack gonna roll over Prince, go for the pinfall here. Got one, the Prince able to kick out ASAP. Now, Jack taking time to go after Prince with three strong elbow shots. Now, take up the time to go outside to the ring. He's going to go apron. Looks like Jack Smith is looking to fly. Springboard style with that clothesline. You can see on the back of Jack Smith tights, they do say champion of the century. You can see Jack Smith really enforcing what it means to be champion. He really believes everything he said, being champion of the century, being man of the hour. And it looks like it has worked out for him as he, he is now the Impact Pro Wrestling television champion. Prince Morrison with that nice forearm to the face of Jack Smith. Now Prince trying to fight back. Those shots he's taking, going for another punch, but Jack able to block it, trying to fight back. And he sets up Prince for... Not one, two, nope, not two, but three good clotheslines. Big leg drop right there from the man of the hour. Pinfall right here. But Prince Morrison still able to kick out. 
Jack continuing to go after Prince Morrison here. Jack gonna hit the ropes. Big elbow drop. Taking a moment to go after the arm of Prince Morrison, but Prince still trying to get something going for himself. Sweeping the leg, sending Jack to the canvas, but Jack gonna follow suit, do the same thing. Jack gonna hit this running neck twist here on Prince Morrison. Jack gonna maintain his control, the dominance he's had in this matchup. Now getting Prince up to his feet, setting him up in the Oklahoma Slam position here. And he's gonna slam him into that turnbuckle and running power slam. Dropping Prince Morrison's center of the ring. Now we have a pinfall attempt. But Prince Morrison's still able to kick out at two. Jack Smith with those triplet of strikes. And another running neck twist. You can see Jack is taking full control here as he throws Prince Morrison into that corner and he hits him with the clothesline. Oh, look at that. Jack trying to dodge from the second rope onto Prince. Looks like he accidentally caught the referee instead. But now Prince taking control. Got this, this cross face in. One arm is locked. But there's no one to really count here. No one to, to look to see if Jack was going to tap out. But looks like he's shooting not to here. Able to break free. Wouldn't really matter if he did, though. Referee wasn't there to see it. Prince with the snap man. Now getting on Jack Smith. And Prince trying to have these fans support him here. Trying to take some energy from the fans. Big kick right there from Prince Morrison. Pinfall right here. Will that Pele kick be enough? No, it won't. Not even a little bit. He was able to get the one count. But Jack, showing off his resiliency, able to kick out. But it looks like Prince is done here. Prince going to set up for his finishing move. Royalty. Butterfly pile driver, ladies and gentlemen. That could be it. And it looks like the Impact Pro Wrestling television champion may be pinned here. One, two. Not three. Now, you know, I, I got to give it to Prince. That butterfly pile driver is definitely a dangerous move. And it's a move that can end matches. And it has ended matches before. But I, I guess in all honesty, I can't say I'm surprised that Jack was able to kick out. Jack has been in control for the majority of this matchup. It's going to take more than just the big move to print to put down Jack Smith. Big knee to the back, transitioning, Russian leg sweep. Prince going up, second rope, diving off with the falling senton. That pinfall attempt only succeeding in getting Prince to the two. Big kick to the back. Prince taking control here. Trying to get everything he can going for himself. A little bow of royalty there. And he hits him with the leg drop. Center of the ring. Now getting Jack Smith on his feet. And he sends Jack into that corner. But Jack's trying to fight back here. Taking a big shot. And hitting Prince with the neck breaker. Float over into the pinfall. But Prince able to get his shoulder up. But it looks like Jack is going to stop Prince Morrison from ever getting up right here. Because Jack's looking to end it with his finishing move. The electric chair driver. One, two, three. And here we have our winner, ladies and gentlemen. The Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Showing you all why he is the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. A great matchup here performed by both men. Prince Morrison put on one hell of a show and did everything he could. But it is just Jack Smith. It looks like he is proving here what he has been saying. Being champion of the century, being man of the hour. Walking out of this matchup victorious. Now you, just like we all did, you know Jack Smith did hear the announcement that Sean Sloan made 
in the beginning of the night so you know for an absolute fact that he is going to be watching tonight's main event and next week's main event both those triple threat matches he's going to be he's going to be watching adrenaline and forex to see who will be his challenger at best in the world but it looks like tonight jack smith is solely focused on prince morrison and now solely focused on his victory Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we shall have a match between the Golden Boy and the All-Star. Johnny Star and Heath Gold are about to go head to head. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next matchup of the evening. It will be Johnny Star, the All-Star, against Heath Gold, the Golden Boy. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this matchup was specifically asked for by Johnny Starr. He's gold. He came out after Johnny Starr's match this past Sunday on our pay-per-view, and he attacked Johnny with a kendo stick. So you know Johnny is looking for a little bit of retro retribution here and looks like he's gold not waiting for this matchup to start. He's coming out right now, chasing Johnny with that that candlestick little practice swing. Oh, and there he is. He's hit Johnny with that kendo. Taking shots here at Johnny with that kendo stick. You can see he's taking those steel steps and hitting them connecting with Johnny and now you can see Johnny trying to get up to his feet trying to get back into this one but he's setting up golden gold maker from the golden boy ladies and gentlemen gold maker just laid out Johnny's star Johnny trying to get back up to his feet he's still on the assault here Big forearm right to the face of Johnny Star. He's just taking it here to Johnny. Coming out with that kendo stick, hitting with the steel steps, just completely assaulting Johnny here. Not sure what his problem is, but apparently it is a big one, and it's a big problem with Johnny. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. He's gold, just sending his boot, connecting face first, sandwiching Johnny Star between his boot and the steel ring post. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that assault by Heath Gold on Johnny Star just doing damage here not sure what his problem is with Johnny ladies and gentlemen it, uh, it, it appears that Heath Gold and Johnny Star will not happen but I guarantee you this what will happen is our next matchup of the evening one half of the Spark Brothers and one half of Team Respect are about to go head to head in the form of Jacob Buck and Riley Sparks. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our, our third matchup of the evening. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes uh, our first competitor in this matchup. Here comes Riley Sparks. Now, I gotta say, I'm a little bit surprised here that, uh, that his brother Jeff will not be accompanying him to the ring. It looks like tonight it is just Riley. No problem in the slightest. Although you gotta believe that uh, this is a matchup where one half of two tag teams will be going up against each other. I, I guess I just assume that Jeff will be coming out here with Riley. But we will see what Riley will be able to do in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. He's got no backup, so the question is, will this be a true one-on-one -on -one matchup? 
or will this be something more you can see Riley in the ring now he looks excited he looks like he is ready to go now here comes his opponent ladies and gentlemen here comes the other half of this matchup Riley Sparks representing his tag team of the Spark Brothers and now here comes his opponent Jacob Buck representing his half of his tag team aka Team Respect now ladies and gentlemen uh, same as Jack Smith heard about his challenger earlier tonight in the main event we'll see which one of those three men that we still do not have uh, any indication of at this moment in time know which one will be going to adrenaline we know for a fact that this man will be going to adrenaline we know for a fact that Jacob Buck will be at adrenaline and he will be with his tag team partner Adam Austin and we know exactly who they will be facing in the form of Payne and Zach Wolf all right ladies and gentlemen now that's Jacob Buck and that is Riley Sparks and this matchup is underway Riley gonna start off aggressively right here with the Lufes press going after a couple shots right there to Jacob Buck now drag him closer center of the ring and going after the arm of Jacob getting Jacob on his feet couple blows and northern lights Riley trying to go for something here. Suplex maybe? No. Jacob fighting back. Blocking the suplex. And he hits Riley with the STO. Pin four right here. Only able to get one. Riley Sparks able to kick out. Jacob trying to fight back here. Going to send Riley to those ropes. But not able to get what he wanted here. Going for a punch. But Riley blocked a punch of his own. Big STO. Looks like that drop kick, able to connect how he wanted to. Now here we see Riley going for a nice suplex on Jacob Buck. Pinfall right here. Only able to get one Jacob able to kick out. Jacob fighting back right here with a big punch right to the gut. Big drop kick. You gotta believe that both the Alliance as well as Def's Bounty. All members of those two teams are watching this matchup. Trying to get some, uh, some information here. Trying to learn the moves of Jacob Buck. Def's Bounty looking because they have to face Team Respect in four weeks at Adrenaline. And the Alliance watching because they possibly have to face Team Respect in eight weeks at Best in the World. Riley going for that senton, but you can see Jacob Buck able to dodge it. Looks like he had that scouted. Going for a big slam there, but Riley able to reverse. Big elbow right to the face thanks to Jacob. And he hits Riley with that nice half Nelson face buster. Here we see Jacob going to set up for the suplex. Going to the outside and springboard crossbody right to the back of Riley Sparks Jacob still taking the control here really found his way here setting up Riley Sparks tippity top rope and it looks like Riley about to get hit with the super neck breaker Jacob Buck going up all the way to the tippity top rope looking to fly with the body splash but not able to make it connect. Riley Sparks moving out of the way now going for the pinfall but Jacob Buck able to kick out. And Riley going to try to keep Jacob down on the mat going after the arm of Jacob for a minute there. And now drop kick right to the back of Jacob Buck. Getting Jacob back on his feet. Going for something there, but Jacob able to reverse. 
turning it into a nice reverse DDT. And you can see Jacob just raking his forearm across Riley Sparks' his face before getting Riley up to his feet. Once again, the Irish trip reversed by Riley. Big shoulder, hitting the ropes, super kick. Hitting the ropes once again, super kick. Hitting the ropes for a third time, super kick. Dropping Jacob to the canvas, a great series of super kicks right there. The pinfall, but only the two count. Now you see Riley raking his forearm across the face of Jacob Buck. You gotta believe that Riley would love to pick up a win here. If you were to pick up this win over Jacob Buck, that could put uh, the Spark brothers, both Jeff and Riley Sparks, in a better position to ask for a tag team top opportunity if they can beat the guys who are supposed to be in a number one contenders match soon. Jacob Buck can't really afford to lose this matchup here. Riley Sparks, you can see him really in control. He's really taking it to Jacob, turning Jacob around here, but Jacob trying to fight back. Two big shots with his elbow. Riley trying to go for that German suplex immediately, but Jacob with a nice reversal now. Look at that! Tying up. Riley Sparks getting him all, all tied right there, then sending him flipping over with that face buster. And I just kind of came out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really sure what that was from Jacob Buck. Looks like that, that I guess that was a, a face buster, a leg tripped face buster by Jacob Buck able to end this matchup. We have not seen Jacob pull that out before. Looks like Jacob trying to up his game a little bit before uh, the number one contenders match at Adrenaline against Death's Bounty. Maybe pulling out some new moves. Riley Spark was unprepared for it and that's what gave Jacob Buck uh, that victory. Riley Sparks had this matchup in the bag for a lot of it. He came out with a lot of aggression, a lot of, a lot of skill, but it looks like Jacob Buck just came out with a whole new move. A whole new way to drop Riley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Buck grabbing a microphone. Looks like Jacob's got something to say. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just heard everything we needed to from Jacob Buck expressing uh, his opinions here. Looks like, looks like uh, his opinion on behalf of Team Respect that they're insulted they haven't gotten this opportunity sooner. Gotta say, they are both two talented guys, and it looks like they're finally gonna get their opportunity at a, at, a, at Adrenalist. Nothing else really to say about that. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is time for us to move on. Matches 1, 2, and 3 have concluded in their own way, but now it's time for match number 4. It's time for our main event of the evening. Just like Sean Sloan said earlier, it will be a triple threat between Christopher Bishop, Kevin Magic, and Danny Myers. Now, whichever man wins this matchup will go on to adrenaline. And that man will face another man, which we will find out next week for that number one contender slot for the Impact Pro Wrestling television title. Let's see which one of these two men will go on to Adrenaline for their number one contenders match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. And here comes one of the three men that will be competing in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, 
allow me to introduce to you Christopher Bishop. Bishop coming into this matchup looking to get a title shot at the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship. Now first, he has to win this matchup. This triple threat match has to go in his favor. And then he has to defeat an opponent currently of unknown origin in four weeks at our upcoming pay-per-view Adrenaline. And then he only has to wait another couple more weeks until IPW's last pay-per-view and IPW's biggest pay-per-view, Best in the World. We saw Jack Smith earlier tonight. He was in our first matchup just after the announcement was made. So you got to wonder what he's thinking about. You got to know that he's watching this matchup. And it's going to be watching the matchup next week. Seeing who his challenger will be. It could be Christopher Bishop if he were to win this matchup. But it also could be this man. It also could be the big guy, Kevin Magic. We've seen Kevin a lot on Impact Pro Wrestling and I believe that a lot of people rightfully believe as do I that Kevin is deserving of some kind of big opportunity this could be his opportunity this could be the time that Kevin Magic needs it only takes one opportunity that you take to become a success and it could be Kevin's time. This could be his opportunity. All he's got to do is deliver the magic bomb on Christopher Bishop. All he's got to do is deliver the magic bomb on the third man in this competition. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a triple threat match. It could be Christopher Bishop or it could be his opponent, Danny Myers. It just takes one magic bomb. Referee sliding in for the one, two, three. And we have Kevin Magic at Adrenaline. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have Kevin Magic. We have Christopher Bishop. And now here comes the third man in this competition. Our main event, the triple threat. And here comes that triple to the threat. Here comes the Superman. Here comes Danny Myers. Danny coming down here the same as Kevin Magic the same as Christopher Bishop looking for that Impact Pro Wrestling television title down the line you gotta believe that all three of these men have ten times more motivation knowing not only that they are gonna get an Impact Pro Wrestling title shot of course, the television title is meaning a lot. Winner of this matchup would be the next challenger, or the next challenger to the next challenger. Whoever beats Jack Smith would be, I believe, our fourth Impact Pro Wrestling television champion. But you got to believe that there's even more pressure because you would get that title opportunity at IPW's biggest pay-per-view best in the world you gotta believe that all of these guys want to go to best in the world all these guys want to win at best in the world we have Bishop Magic and Myers here now ladies and gentlemen all these three men about to go head-to-head -head here starting off with Myers and Bishop as Myers delivers that nice pump handle Back suplex, Magic going after Myers here with a nice swinging suplex. Now Bishop delivering the bullplex to the Superman. Myers trying to fight back here. But he can't fight back against two guys. And he quickly gets shut down right there from Kevin. Now Kevin and Christopher going at it here. Alliances don't last long in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't really know if any of these guys like each other in the slightest. I don't expect to see any real tag team cooperation. Besides that little segment right there, I'm not sure what we will see of two guys going after one. It looks like it's going to be just a complete free-for-all. He 
You can see Bishop just taking Myers on his shoulders here, but Myers breaking free here. And Kevin gonna shut down Christopher with that nice DDT. Myers the forearm in the corner, and then the running bulldog. Myers doing a little showboating here to these fans. You know, these fans do enjoy seeing the Superman in action. Big German suplex right there from Danny Myers. And now here comes a nice spinning back suplex on Christopher Bishop. Danny Myers taking a little shot right there at Christopher Bishop just slamming him down face first. Bishop trying to fight back here. Urinagi slam on Myers but Myers was able to reverse it. Big punch right to the face of Christopher Bishop. Big elbow drop right there and a big leg drop. Dragon Sleeper right there, but you can see Kevin breaking it up here. And Myers shutting him down with the atomic drop. Trying to get him up, but Magic with the arm drag reversal. Shutting down the Superman with that big rip breaker. Bishop trying to get up to his feet here as he does. Now going after Kevin here with a big knee. Starting it off here, big kick to the gut, and now one arm locked, hitting him with that nice DDT. Here comes Christopher delivering the bullplex. Now Myers back into the ring, delivering a neck breaker on Christopher Bishop. Now leg scissors and Elbow shots coming down. Christopher Bishop with that nice reversal, shutting down Danny. But now Kevin and Christopher going at it here. Kevin setting up for the stun gun. And Christopher gonna roll out the ring, trying to regain himself here as Magic delivers a suplex to the Superman. You see that pinfall attempt not working out, unfortunately, but this matchup does continue, and Magic not going to worry about it. He's just going to continue going after Danny Myers right there with that nice reverse DDT, and then the fist drop. Now Christopher back into the ring, going for a big scoop slam on Kevin Magic. Kevin rolling, not all the way to the outside, just to the apron right now. But Christopher gonna make sure he hits that that floor out there on the outside. Now going after Danny. Getting him back up to his feet, going for another big scoop slam. But Danny Myers able to reverse. Big knee strike right to the face. Christopher Bishop now sending Christopher to the apron and sending him all the way to the outside of the ring. And now all three of these men on the outside, but not for long, as Kevin and Danny are taking it to the inside. Christopher, the only man on the outside of the ring currently. Kevin and Danny going out of here. And you can see Danny is in trouble. He's on the top rope. Kevin's looking for something here, and it looks like he's going to deliver this big superplex. The pinfall attempt, but unsuccessful. Danny Myers able to kick out through the superplex, but Kevin gonna keep going after him with the nice reverse DDT. You can see Christopher is gonna hit the sidelines right here and let Kevin do some of the work applying the damage to Danny Myers. Christopher gonna set up Kevin on his shoulders and hits him neck first into that top turnbuckle. Kevin gonna roll outside to the ring, regain himself here, make sure that neck of it is okay. But while he regained himself on the outside, 
Christopher and Danny are on the inside going at it and Christopher is in control. Here comes Christopher setting up Danny Myers in those ropes for this rope pong snap. DDT. Looks like Kevin accidentally attempted to break up the pinfall, but instead uh, broke up the referee. Referee down here, there's no man to call for a one count, a two count, or a three count. No official here, these three guys just going at it here. It looks like no one's really noticed. Referee's down, center of the ring, and looks like no one's noticed that there's no one to count. Kevin just taking out Danny, now going after Christopher with the rib breaker. It looks like Magic's got a plan here, looking to finish off this matchup. Referee finally getting up to his feet, and just in time for Magic to hit his finishing move, aka the Magic Bomb. The pinfall, center of the ring, one. That was a two count right there, but Danny breaking it up. This matchup will continue here. Now look at this, the Superman. Finally showing why he is called the Superman fighting back here getting into the ring going for the pinfall, but unsuccessful here Shoulder claw applied from Danny Myers, but Bishop fighting back with two big blows Now look at this Bishop setting up Bishop Buster one two but Kevin Magic entering the ring quickly, breaking up the pinfall. And this matchup will continue. We've seen a Magic Bomb. We've seen a Bishop Buster. One's got to wonder what's next. And one's got to wonder what the finishing move is going to be. Big alley-oop powerbomb right there from Kevin Magic. Sending Bishop to the outside of the ring. Rolling out there. And now Kevin going for the pinfall. Only able to get two, however. Kevin setting up for this deadlift sit out power bomb. You know for a fact that the Superman is hurt. Superman has been the main one that's been absorbing all the damage in this matchup. Kevin and Christopher have not absorbed nearly the amount of damage that Danny has had here. The pinfall right there, but Kevin able to kick out. And Christopher going right after Kevin still. Now setting up Kevin in those ropes. Here comes another snap rope hung. DDT. Pinfall right here. We have one. That's two. But Kevin able to kick out. Christopher is still trying to go after Kevin. But Kevin fighting back here. But Bishop not going to let him fight back. Big knee to the back, big neck breaker. Now it looks like here, Kevin rolled to the outside. Bishop setting up Danny here. We've seen it once, it was broken up once. Here comes Bishop Buster number two. One, two, but not three ladies and gentlemen, not three. Danny Myers, he's absorbed a lot of damage, but the Superman is still the Superman. Able to kick out of that Bishop Buster, the second one he's received so far. Pinfall. Once again, Danny able to kick out. Kevin back into the ring, but Christopher quickly getting after him with the monkey flip. Big knee drop right there for Christopher Bishop. Getting magic on his feet. And sending him into that corner facing his back but Kevin fighting back here big kick to the gut and here comes this swinging neck breaker Christopher rolling to the outside magic going for the pinfall Danny kicking out
Danny now looks like he's trying to fight back here. He got the knife reversal, turned it into a shoulder block. Now, got a pinfall on Kevin Magic, but Christopher in in time to break it up. Now Danny going after Christopher, setting him down with that nice spinning complete shot. And the Superman gonna come out of nowhere. Looks like he's looking for the Superman punch, and there it is. Superman punch on Christopher Bishop. Danny for the pinfall. Magic breaking it up. But Danny not gonna let this happen here. He hit the Superman punch. He's looking to finish it, but needs to put down Magic first. But he sets him up on that second rope for a backbreaker. Another pinfall right here from Danny Myers. Looking for the win after that Superman punch, but he looks like he took too much time. Danny fighting back with a big elbow right to the face and a big DDT. Now here comes Danny with the backbreaker. Magic able to kick out, though this matchup will continue. And Magic... Fighting back here with a couple quick shots. But Christopher quickly interjecting himself with that big monkey flip. Now going back after Kevin, sending him into that corner. Setting up Kevin in that tree of woe and just kicking him right in the gut, unprotected. Here comes the big Uranagi backbreaker. From Christopher Bishop. Now Christopher rolling outside the ring here, going right back after Kevin. Big knee right there. And Kevin getting shut down with that big Oklahoma slam. Now you can see Christopher now taking a moment to go after Danny here. And throwing Danny right into the steel ring post. Danny going face first right into that steel ring post once again. And now Bishop throwing him back into center of the ring. Pinfall. And the kick out. Christopher trying to apply that camel clutch, but Kevin in to break it up. Big release German suplex right here. Christopher may be on a roll here, looking to go up to that second rope. Trying to get Danny up on his feet, the taunt. Looking for a leg lariat or some type, but Danny able to avoid it, but not able to take control. Christopher still in control. Danny able to kick out. Now Kevin looks like he's just biding his time here on the apron. Looking for a good opportunity to get back into the ring. And he does seem like he's found one. But not back into the action. Letting Christopher take control here. Setting up Danny. Tippity top rope. Oh look at that. Looks like uh, Danny kind of interrupted what could have been a, a very good opportunity for him. It turned into a bad one because Magic just hit him with that big Magic Slinger. The pinfall. One, two, and not three. Danny's still able to kick out.
big reverse DDT right here from Kevin Magic. Magic is hitting off of this camel clutch here. But Christopher breaking it up. And it looks like Christopher breaking up a little bit more than that submission. Also breaking up the referee. Shutting down the referee. But Kevin going to shut down Christopher as he hits him with the magic bomb. Going for something quickly there. But you can see Christopher able to, uh, to reverse it. Getting the control back, but Magic not out of the ring yet. Christopher took his eyes off of it. Magic still in control of Christopher. Big headlock punch here. And here comes the big atomic drop. Pinfall, but Danny able to break it up. Fireman's carry reversal right there. Looking for a flat liner. But Danny Myers looking for instead a fireman's carry neck breaker. Big knee right to the back of the neck. Danny going for the pinfall on Christopher Bishop. Pinfall unsuccessful right here. This matchup will continue. And you can see Danny. Making short work right here of Christopher Bishop with that shoulder claw. Look at that. Danny having eyes in the back of his head for a moment there. Elbow right to the face. Look at this now. Christopher looking to interject himself here. Going after Kevin Magic with that big looking overhead face buster. Christopher still going after Kevin here. Getting Kevin up. And it looks like he's going to send Kevin once again into those ropes for the snap rope hung D D D But look at this Christopher shutting down Danny here Danny rolling to the outside of the ring Christopher now setting up Kevin here Kevin's up and Kevin being shut down with the Bishop Buster one two and three and the ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, decisively adding his name to the Impact Pro Wrestling television title shot opportunity. That whole picture has just got Bishop's name written all over it thanks to this big victory. Danny put up one hell of a fight. Kevin put up one hell of a fight, but it looks like end of the night, it's all about the fight that Bishop put up, because Bishop is the one who walked out victorious here tonight. Kevin went up, and Kevin got shut down with the Bishop Buster, and it looks like tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have one of the men that will be going to adrenaline in the form of Christopher Bishop.